Second. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Mortgage Coach Friday Mastermind. Every Friday, we are here to bring leadership, have fun conversations. Sometimes Todd and I bring in outside producers, but today you just got Dave Savage and Todd Bookspan. What's up, Mr. Bookspan? You know, not a whole lot. I am so excited to be here with you and with all of our folks from our Productivity Mastermind group, and I'm just feeling excited and grateful to kind of go through what we're going to talk about today. I feel like it's what's needed now, and um, I think it's great uh, great leadership on your part and excited to be part of it. Well, I think it's great leadership on both our parts. Uh, so, so guys, Todd and I have aligned that we think the most important thing that mortgage professionals could do and really, it's not just in 2021. And when you really think about it, it's like, what should we always be doing the most? It's training. And, and so last week, we did a mastermind on training to be a modern mortgage professional. Uh, I've dedicated the past decade with the Mortgage Coach YouTube channel to doing that. And I'm just as dedicated as ever. I, I'm creating as much content in our YouTube channel as ever. And I do not intend to slow down through 2021. Uh, I, I'm going to do some different things. But I want to do more training. I want to, I want to train you and teach you to do the things that y'all need to do to be the, better, the best loan officer possible. Last week, we were kind of defining what is the, what is pulling from the, the life wheel, where it's like business, life, spirituality, health, pulling from that life wheel, we want to create this uh, modern mortgage wheel. So it will like when you come to our channel, it's training you to be a modern mortgage professional. Mortgage coach is a spoke on the wheel. Win by noon is a spoke on the wheel, but there's, you know, there's at least seven spokes on the wheel to be a modern originator. Uh, but we're, we're going to try to make this Friday call more dedicated to actual training, where it's not just us talking at you, telling you what to do. We're, we're going to do training exercises. So Todd and I have a couple training exercises um, that we're going to walk you through today. Uh, I think there's plenty of time the way we've set this up. If you have an idea of a training that you'd like us to do, we can either fit it in today or we can put it into another Friday. Uh, so, so let's make this really collaborative. Todd, anything else you want to say before we, we get into it? Well, I definitely, to all those win by noon folks out there, you should have all uh, gotten your Q1 planner. Uh, the, either it's on the way or it'll be there shortly. Uh, those of you who are looking to subscribe, I keep getting questions, are, is Q1 shipping? It absolutely is. So it's uh, definitely time for that. Uh, one other quick webinar that I'm running next week uh, with Grant Horvath from HomeBot. I'll be doing a uh, creating client engagement with HomeBot webinar. Just go to the winbynoon.com forward slash calendar and you can register for it there. I had them on last year. It was hugely popular and uh, anyone who's using HomeBot, it's actually really good if you don't even use HomeBot, it's just going to be a lot of scripting around how to work with agents and how to work with your clients. And, and I would encourage anyone who wants to show up, it's free and excited to be doing it with Grant again. And, and guys, using HomeBot, it is a skill, it is a habit of a modern mortgage professional. You know, you're, you're giving value beyond the transaction, you're helping families build wealth with real estate and you're doing it every month, you're giving them an update. So big fan of that product. Big fan of that habit. Uh, so make sure you guys follow that. Make sure you check it out. A uh, couple mortgage coach heads ups before I get into it. I, I've done some really cool interviews this week. We've released some super awesome content. Uh, make sure you check out the Denise Donahue video that I posted in the group this morning. Uh, it's where our marketing team took some experts or ex they cut up some of Denise Donahue's uh, keynote from the Modern Mortgage Summit. And I mean, we did cut it up in a way that was an advertisement for Mortgage Coach. So it's definitely Mortgage Coach marketing. If you're watching this and you're not a Mortgage Coach member, we're gonna, we're gonna remind you how to get a demo and how to do it. But I think it's a good reminder for anyone, even if you are a member around that strategy of doing rent versus own, creating content for first time home buyers, using Mortgage Coach to create social media content, uh, check that out. Also. Earlier this week, uh, the marketing team took Denise's, uh, one of her marketing pieces. Thank you, Deborah Bird, for letting us turn that into something that's just a, a sales tool. It's a value add for you. Uh, we added it to the, uh, what do you call it? The, the files. So within the Facebook group, if you're watching this in the Facebook group, there's a file section. 
Todd added some win by noon value last week. Wasn't it Todd? Didn't you put a few things in the file section? I did. I did. Sorry. I'm multitasking. I'm throwing in cause someone's asking about uh, the data that home bot webinar. So I'm throwing that, uh, throwing that in there, but um, yeah, we've got uh, the business planning tools in there as well as um, the implementation uh, tool that you and I created for really how to implement projects going forward. So since we're going to do more training, let's just show everybody how to do it. You're in the mortgage coach uh, productivity mastermind group, click on more, go to files and guys, gold mine of value. This is a new rent versus own social media post with directions on how to do it. Uh, tips on um, leading a zoom meeting. I think this was brought to us by uh, building champions uh, the core SWOT analysis. By the way, Todd, I don't see those documents and deliverables from last week in here. Uh, that's a, that's not good. All right, I'll um, I'll repost them. Yeah, and and Todd, when you do it, always make sure that the title is pretty comprehensive. Like someone can just look at it and know what it is. So we do have some life planning tools. This is from the Dan Keller Jeremy Forcier interview, where they put in some stuff. But guys, there's. There's a lot of stuff in here. I don't know what the total count is, but um, my guess is it's over a hundred documents and resources. When I uh, interviewed uh, Greg Harkavy from Building Champions, he put in a disc PowerPoint. Guys, there's just there, there's just a ridiculous mountain of value in that in that group. Pure gold. So uh, yeah, pure 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 gold, guys. So Todd, before I do the first training, anything else you want to say, or has anyone made a comment or a chat? No, I, I think that, you know, you hit the nail on the head, right? I love the fact that not only are we talking about these things, we're actually showing these things. And, you know, some of you are already ninjas, but it's a reminder. I, I tend to find that when we go through stuff, you're like, oh yeah, I remember when Greg Hart could be talked about that disc thing. I mean, it's a great time of year if you're leading a team to do a disc ex exercise, right? There's so much value in there. And I think that this will just be a good roadmap uh, as we go through 2021 to really help you up your game uh, as an individual modern mortgage professional or as a modern mortgage leader. Yeah. And, and so before I get into the first topic, which is going to be about text video and, and how the best loan officers, modern loan officers are using a combination of mortgage coach and text video to deliver amazing bar experience. I want to, I want to call out Todd because he's, he's investing in himself. He, he paid to sign up and go through Renee Rodriguez's is Amplify. And you guys may not have noticed this, but the way Todd is framed in the screen, it's elevated from past times that Todd's been in here. So Todd, why don't you share what you pulled away from your first uh, Amplify uh, virtual from yesterday? It was incredible. It was uh, four hours, you know, and it just flew by. And it was really about, right, increasing your leadership, increasing your influence. And, you know, one of the things that we did about halfway through was an audit on your setup, right? Lighting and which my lighting's still not perfect in here, but just really how do you adjust the camera? And I was always of the, of the training that the camera should be up here looking down at you. And really the whole part of influence is looking at the camera. So now I'm looking straight at the camera. It's also hard because Dave, you're below. I like to look down, but I'm looking up at the camera, just reminders of things like that. And really just embarked on the journey that I'll have between now and next Friday. We've got 18 hours together where Renee's going to really walk me and the rest of the crew through how to be better at this conversations that we're having and how to do it in a way that's more effective. And I've been through Toastmasters for years and had a great uh, speaking mentor and trainer. And I'm just even more excited to come out of this being better at what we're doing. Very more self-conscious today of what I'm saying. And, uh, but I think in the end, it's, uh, again, you always have to invest in yourself. I mean, I remember people for years saying that they invested 10% of their income back into what they do. And, you know, for me, the last couple of years has been an entrepreneurial journey and uh, learning from others. But this is the first one, I think, where I'm really taking another class and investing in myself. And I'm so glad I did. I can't believe I waited this long since I was supposed to do it with you a year ago almost and uh, wasn't able to, to join you guys up in Seattle. So I'm glad I'm finally doing it virtually. Yeah, yeah, I know. I did my first Amplify. It was live before pre-COVID. And that was uh, with Jeremy, Denise, Kelly Zitlow, Josh Metal, you know, just Dan Keller, 
Mortgage Coach Rockstars, and we did it pre-COVID in Seattle. I think I did it, I've done it three times live and one time virtually. And and here's one thing other, before we move on to another topic, the virtual is just as important as the live. Like, you know, Todd, even though you'll have gone through the virtual, you still need to do the live because, you know, the live is live communication, being on a stage, you are on a stage and, you know, the virtual is you're on a virtual stage and you got to learn how to communicate and, or at least be your best. I still say ums and ahs more often than I try to, or that I should, but, and I'm always working on it, but you, you just learn a lot of stuff. So let's get into the first thing. So the first training that we're going to do today is it's, if you want to put a video using your mobile phone on um, via text as part of the point of sale experience, which we think is a really good idea. It's going to improve your conversion. It's going to speed up the time it takes to work with a client. It's going to improve the quality of your app. I did a private mastermind with Jeremy Forcier and Justin Taglarini, who's the CEO of Mortgage Unlimited. And Jeremy was sharing how him and his ops team work efficiently and effectively, how he staffs his ops team and what are the rules between loan officers, loan assistants and processors and when can they communicate? When can't they communicate? And, and, you know, one of the first things Jeremy started off with was I make sure loan officers turn in a quality app. And, and when I, and so the higher the quality of the app, the better everything works. I make sure they put a cover letter on it. Uh, and it made me think, wow, how you take an app matters. So let's, I'm going to play real quick um, how how uh, Josh Metal when he works with borrowers what what his process is. So first conversation with a borrower might have been five minutes, might have been ten minutes, and he you know he, he he won their trust and he asked the right questions so that one he could put together a total cost analysis and show them how to achieve their hopes and dreams. But they're saying I want the the link so I can fill out my mobile app. I mean, so I can fill out my app. So he had enough of a conversation. And then, but when he sends that link to fill out the app, he's doing it with a text and it's got a video on it. So just so everybody knows what it looks like, what it sounds like, and you have context around this video. So let's let's play this video and see what Josh does. And then we'll kind of break it down. We'll do some training on it. We'll see what you guys are doing. If anyone out there is doing something similar, we'll talk about it. So let's, let's hear now, again, this is gonna blow up on your screen. It's gonna look like a big video, but I want you to imagine this is on your mobile phone and it shows up on your mobile with a, with a link to a loan officer's mobile app. Hey, Chad, Josh Metal, Fairway Independent Mortgage. Good chatting with you, buddy. Uh, enjoy the BYU game and uh, go Cougs. So hope you get a victory. I will send you next my personal contact card. Please save that. If you need me, don't hesitate to text me. That's you, that's probably the quickest way to get a hold of me most of the time. Feel for, um, but feel free if you need me after hours or on the weekend, shoot me a text that way. I'll also then send you a text message with a link to the Fairway Now mobile app. This is a great little tool. Please click on the link, download the mobile app from the App Store, then launch the app and click on the client questionnaire. Once you've completed the client questionnaire, that data is securely transferred over to me. As I said, it's preliminary information. I'll, I'll backfill anything that you missed. Just fill it out to the best of your ability. Probably shouldn't take you more than 10 or 15 minutes from your mobile device, and then we'll jump in and get going from there. If you could also send me a copy of the purchase agreement, that would be great. My email is josh at joshmetal.com. It'll also be in the contact card I send you, and uh, we'll be in contact soon. Take care, buddy. So let me stop sharing. So before I share my takeaways from that, my thoughts on it, Todd, why don't you kind of unpack it from your perspective? Well, I think it's just an easy thing you can all start doing today, right? I mean, it's it's not like you have to uh, be Josh Metal and have his production in order to execute on the strategy. So number one, it's easy and easy to implement, you know, no cost, uh, no training, you're good to go. My uh, other thing I think that people forget that Josh said at the end is I'm going to send you my contact card. And 
as, as odd as that sounds, most of you don't do it. And that's why your clients can't remember you down the road or forget you, right? Your emails are going to their spam and make sure that your contact card has mortgage in it, right? Like Keith Collins has, his says mortgage guy, Keith Collins, right? That way people won't forget. All you do is tell them that, Hey, by the way, when I send you my contact card, if you forget my name down the road, don't worry, just type mortgage into your search bar and you'll be able to find me. I mean, that just in itself is probably going to get you a couple more loans a year. And then you can also let them know, hey, it's really easy to copy and share that with friends who are looking to buy, uh, buy or invest in real estate. Again, the same thing, you're going to, you can weave in a, an easy referral script, especially for those of you who are not comfortable asking for referrals. It's just a great way to slide it in. So that's my, those are my two uh, bookend points. What do you think, Dave? Yeah, so how many, how many of you guys are, are doing that? Like how many people are doing that as part of your mortgage experience? I would love to know. So I'm going to share my screen. Again, I want to go through the process. I want to want to put it in context with what it's like to be a borrower in the market. And then Todd, if you could be on the lookout for anyone that is doing that, I want to know how many people are doing that. And while we're, we're getting your feedback on it, let's, let's just kind of review what it's like to be a consumer in the marketplace. Uh, hang on, I've got something showing on my screen. So, so guys, Quicken and Rocket Mortgage, I don't think they're called Quicken anymore, Rocket Mortgage, you know, they're, they're, they are the biggest mortgage company in the country. So let's just say that's the most common experience. And it's, it's good. They're giving this link, they're promoting it. Uh, but here's the deal, guys, banks are doing it too now. Everybody is sending that link and it's good. It's not differentiated. It's, it's not more valuable for the consumer. I, I just have this theory in life that the more value you create for a consumer, one, the more you like your job, it just makes what you do for a living more fun. Two, you get a better conversion, so you make more money. Like Conversion is where money is at. And when you get rate shop less and people trust you more, you, you convert more at higher profits. And, and so that's good. So, but what's, what's the best? And guys, this is what Jer this is what Josh is doing, and we already showed you the video. I'm not going to. Hey, Chad, Josh Metal. I'm not going to play it again. So he's putting a talking to the client, putting a video on it. Uh, they've got an app. He's getting the app, and then he's creating a mortgage coach TCA. He's making sure he's giving them a link back. So whether he's having that conversation live, he's you know taking the app with a with a link. He's giving advice with a link. Uh, he's using links to schedule meetings, Calendly. He uses Calendly. There's a lot of other solutions that do that. So he's saving time with how he's doing it. Uh, he's using Zoom when it's necessary. Jeremy Forcier uses CoVideo. So, you know, there's a lot of different solutions. Um, or excuse me, he's using BombBomb. Jeremy uses CoVideo. Jeremy also uses Zoom. So, so like this is the way you take a modern mortgage experience. So, Again, remember guys, we're doing training. Todd and I are also figuring this out. And you know, part of training is the teacher gives a briefing, the teacher shares an idea. And the guys, if, if we're gonna be successful at training, uh, we do need to get some feedback from you. We need people to you know, raise your hands like, oh, I don't understand that teacher. Uh, when we ask you, hey, are you doing this? If you're doing it, we need you to answer and say, yeah, I'm doing it. Uh, We'll come to few, like, I don't think we can actually play someone else's sample video right now, unless someone wants to text it to me. And I could probably put it on my desktop and I could play another example. Uh, so we're only 20 minutes into this call. If you're a mortgage professional on this call and you've got a great video that you're like, I think it's pretty legit how I am using video in the process, text it to me right now. I'll put my mobile number um, in, in chat. It's 949-370-7393 but I'm going to put it in chat here in a minute, 949-370-7393. And I'll, I'll actually play it and we'll talk about it. Todd, anything else you want to talk about on this one or anything else we think we need to do from a training perspective? Well, I'll throw in there. Uh, Sean Guerrero said that uh, Vidyard is a great service as well to send, you know, videos and, and texts and all of that. And I think I've heard great things about it. I think you might use that too, Dave, sometimes, but um, remember your phone can send that out as well. Um, definitely have some people, lots of people saying that they aren't doing it, but they will, uh, that they would like to start to uh, shout out to Roberta Pohl. She's going to start sending out her contact card today. She had a big birthday this week. So happy birthday again, Roberta, uh, big member of the uh, valued member of the win by noon community. Um, so grateful for you. 
yeah, I think it's, I think it's, again, one of those things where, you know, again, a lot of people are saying, hey, I'm going to do this in 2021. And, and I would just say, start today, right? There's no, again, there's no prepping for it, right? You can use Josh's script right there. It's, it's connecting, right? We heard a lot of people last week talk about wanting to go from being transactional to being relational. Um, we heard a bunch of people say that. Jeremy said that. Um, I think, um, I'm trying to remember who said it last week. Uh, but either way, it's, it's so easy if you remember, Josh remembered that one thing about the client, right? BYU, go Cougs, right? You, there's so many things that you can get in a conversation if you unpack it by asking good questions and talking a little bit less. Oftentimes, go back to what we, we'd mentioned DISC earlier, right? In DISC, most people in sales are talkers and therefore we don't listen enough. And you need to think about that, ask better questions, and then you'll be able to make those connections because that's really probably what got Josh. You know, It's not that he did it. Yeah, that definitely helped, but it's the fact that now his client, uh, whatever the guy's name was, I didn't listen well enough, um, but he knows that Josh listened to him. And so think about that. It's that little extra bit. Um, some people like, oh, I'll just pre-record a video and send it out to everybody. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't encourage the same video to everyone. Again, he customized it, took him a minute and whatever seconds and doesn't have to be perfect, right? People like it when you're you. And so if you mess up in the middle of it, as long as you don't call him the wrong name, then you probably should re-record it. But if you stumble over your words, no big deal. They want to know that you're human as well. It doesn't need to be perfect. I think that's probably the other, the other big thing I'd point out. Yeah, so a couple of things, guys. I actually decided to use my mobile club uh, text. So I'm going to change the number. I put this new number, but I, I have a, a mobile text club that I'm using to communicate and build community for the mortgage coach. It's 949-799-0837. And so one, I've got this Josh metal example, which is the best example I've seen so far. I'm looking for more. So share more. And before next week's class, I will share out the one or two best examples of a text video that I have found, whether it's a link, whether it's an actual text. Uh, Sean, you you were right, Vidyard is awesome. We use Vidyard at Mortgage Coach because it integrates with HubSpot. Uh, I know some other very large lenders, I don't wanna call out names that have, have done Vidyard implementations. Uh, Vidyard is a, co a competitor to BombBomb and they're all great. You know, It's kind of like CRM, people go, Dave, what's the best CRM? Oh, it's the one you use. I, I think the same is true with video um, automation platforms. The one you use is the best one. The only thing I would add to that is I, I do think there's a time to use a link to a video platform and there is a time for native video. And, and so like you'll, you'll notice earlier today, I shared in our social media, an example of you know, that edited version that I told you that Denise did. And we shared that in Vidyard and we shared that in Vidyard because it's a promotional video. Like we want you to click on a demo. So we have a button for a demo up top. We want to track it. Like when we email it out, we want to know who watched it, how long they watched it, where they stopped watching it. So, so it was really important. Like when we edited that down and blasted it out using our Vidyard platform, like we wanted to sell and we wanted to track, but I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm going to take that video. I'm going to put it in our YouTube channel native. I will probably promote that again in our Facebook group, in our LinkedIn, and it will be video. It will be native because let's face it. When I take a link and I post that in LinkedIn, LinkedIn's algorithms aren't going to like that as much as if I posted it uh, as a native video. So it'll get posted a couple times. Sometimes it will be native. Sometimes it'll be a link. Guys, these are all things that modern mortgage professionals know. You know, they, they, they know how to use social media to communicate one to many, one to one. They know when to create a native piece of video content. They know when not to. And, and my last thought on this lesson will be 25 minutes into it. So I would, I would love to get a text with someone's video. Sean, shout out to you. Uh, send me a video, bro, if you're, if you're still watching. But, but here's, here's my last thought on this, touch, this lesson. We all know the difference between good and bad. Not doing video is bad. Like it is hurting your results. It's hurting your competitive differentiation. It's, it's hurting your time. Like you are not as efficient with your time as, as if you use video, that's bad. Now the difference between good and great, that's different. Like great is, okay, I'm, I'm doing video, 
but I don't know when to use a link and I don't know when to do native. And, and maybe the difference is I'm only using video half of the time that I should use video. You know, that's totally good and great. And then guys, then there's the best. Sean Herrera, who just shouted out, I mean, he was a bomb bomb, is a bomb. Well, I don't know, it sounds like he's using Vidyard now. So maybe he's not a bomb bomb influencer anymore, but he, he uses video strategically. He creates shows, he uses mortgage coach, I mean, he, he's like got, in the, when it comes to, um, like if he's a golfer, he's got lots of clubs in his bag and he knows how to use them all. And he knows how to, when to pull out the native text video club, when to do a native mortgage coach video, when to do a bomb bomb or vidyard video. That's the best. He is one of the best loan officers in America at leveraging video. He also happened to be one of the the stars of the Modern Mortgage Summit. So Todd, let's let's transition. Unless we have questions or someone gave me a video, let's let's transition to our next lesson of the day. And I'll let you lead that one. Awesome. You know, I have to say it was hard to pick, right? We've got over 60 uh, different videos um, in in the summit. So um, it was definitely hard to decide what to do. But as I'm teaching a lot of business planning classes, um, I don't have any currently on my calendar. I had someone ask me this morning, but I will be getting um, another uh, one going uh, here in the next, uh, we'll schedule one before the end of the year and a couple right after the year starts. But um, I really like this one. So one of the people that was new to me was Alex uh, Valera. And uh, I really thought his this is a great example of someone who took an idea that most of us are struggling with. Well, in fact, I'll just, let me just play it. I'll let you and uh, Renee introduce it, and then uh, you guys can all see it. So for our next presentation, we have Alex Morella. He's running a team that is doing almost 600 loans. I think it's 585 loans so far this year. So lots of volume, an amazing entrepreneur. He's going to talk about the power of the no. When I talk to the best of the best, when I interview the best of the best on our YouTube channel, they know how to say no. Also, his story is amazing. He recently, well not recently, for this event to promote it, he created his story. How he went from working at Mimi's to becoming one of America's top professionals. Check that out on our YouTube channel. I just, Alex is just the consummate professional. I love the fact that we're watching a Latino loan officer get to the top of the game and just own it. I mean, we, we, I've had this guy on stage at, at different events and he is, so poised, so professional, so approachable, and just a wealth of knowledge. So I'm excited. And what I love about this next video is that he got to a really critical point really fast and delivered massive value. He didn't need 20 minutes, he needed a half an hour, he needed a minute and 30 seconds. That to me is pro. Let's go to that video. No. Hell no. No, thank you. Probably not. There's so many different ways to say no, but it comes out of the mouth so easy, but it's so hard to do in reality. In your personal life and in business, it's one of the most crucial things to learn how to do. For example, when a friend asks you to go somewhere that you know you really don't wanna go, but you say yes anyways, and you just feel like you're stuck with that regret, come on, let's take a walk. You should already said no. There's three reasons why we should say no, and all three are acceptable. The first one is that we can't do something. We don't have the capability to do it. The second one is we don't know how. We don't have the, the skill set to do something. And the third one, my favorite, is I just don't want to do it, so I don't do it. So you say no. And all three are acceptable in your work practice and even in your personal life. So how do we say no? Three quick steps on how to say no. The first one is to simply let it come out of your mouth. No, just say it. No, 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 no. Just say it with me. No, it's okay. When I reply to an email, most of the time my answers are yes or no. But then I go to step two and I explain why I said no. This is why I said no. Here's the explanation. The third part or the third step is to turn the no to a yes. What is it gonna to take to go from no to yes? Three simple steps. I challenge you to take these three simple steps, say no in your business, say no to things that aren't beneficial to your business and say yes to the best things about your, your practice. 
All right, Dave, I'll let you break that one down before I jump in with why uh, the other reasons why I chose it. Wow. Well, well, first of all, there's, there's, a, I, I want to do a training on just how you played that video and it sounded so well in, you know, when we all watched it, I covered that a little bit last week, but I want to remind everybody how to do that. Plus there's some people on the call. They're like, how'd you do that? So, so let's, we'll make that the second class, but okay. to, to me, the, the message there on no. And the big takeaway is when, when we picked who we picked, who we wanted to have on that stage, and we wanted to have monster producers, you know, and Alex has been the number one Latino loan officer in America. He's one of the top two producers for prime lending. He's a monster producer. So I think it's important to know that I let him pick what he talked about. I said, Hey, we're doing this modern summit. I gave him some ideas on list of things that you could talk about, but he wanted to talk about no, because he thought that was one of the most powerful things that drove his process. I want you guys to notice Shayla Gifford also talked about no. It, she's one of America's top team leaders and just leaders, producers. So interesting that these people that are doing over 500 loans a year, they picked that is what they wanted to lead on and talk about. So I just think the, the, the power no is so important. I, I ask top producers to, hey, you want to be a guest on the Mortgage Coach channel? And I get a lot of yeses. And I get, I get no's. I mean, Josh Metal is a rock star in the mortgage coach community and he's on this stage at least four to six times a year. But I probably ask him 12 times a year. And he says no six times a year. You know, Jeremy Forcier too. I mean, he's a, a regular on the mortgage coach YouTube channel, but he says no to me. I mean, he knows when to say yes. He knows when to say no. And I, I just, modern mortgage professionals are leaders and leaders know when to say no. So that's, what goes through my mind when I see that. Yeah, I think it's interesting that we had two leaders both do videos on that and that we got so many positive reviews on what were favorite videos and, and people mentioned those videos a lot. That was part of the reason I chose it. I also know, like I said, we all don't ask a lot of questions as salespeople and we're also terrible at saying no, we wanna please everybody, right? It's part of who you are innately is you're a people pleaser. That's why you're so good at what you do. And it also gets in the way of you saying yes to things that you shouldn't do. And again, Alex gave you the reasons how to do it in a way that you don't look like a jerk, right? You can say no and then explain why and then give them how to turn it into a yes. And I find that when I'm coaching loan officers that even experienced loan officers oftentimes will say yes to something on a loan or make something up, right? It kind of goes along with that script of, hey, that's a great question. Let me find out the answer versus making something up about a, go a loan guideline that you're not familiar with. I think they kind of go hand in hand. And I just think you did a great job. And I love it, Dave, because it speaks to the quality of the videos that that everyone put together for the summit. The fact that he, you know, he could have just done that sitting at a Zoom at his desk and he had his camera person come along with him and he and he choreographed that whole thing out. I thought I thought that was super cool. And one of the things that uh, most impressed me when we asked people not only to give up their time and energy to be part of the summit, that they took it to such a high level with the quality of what they produced. Loved it. Also want to remind guys, top producers, modern mortgage professionals, they train every day and they have great content to train. So if you're not already subscribed to the Mortgage Coach YouTube channel, which is a great training resource, you know, it's free and you're crazy and you should do it. I notice uh, someone asked, are these trainings free, Teresa? Yeah, man, we're Mortgage Coach. Like if you're a Mortgage Coach member, we have training, live training every single day of the week. We, ate, we eat our own dog food. And, and Todd and I do these, these, these Friday trainings free if you're in our Facebook group you have access to it, you're in the know. I don't usually promote what we're gonna do on outside social media channels. I, use, I mean, every once in a while, I'll, I'll tell what's going on in this community and other channels, but for the most part, you have gotta be in the Mortgage Coach Facebook channel to know the free training we do. And then the Modern Mortgage Summit, that video that Todd just played, that is in the Modern Mortgage Summit 365 day pass. Uh, Todd, tell everybody um, how, if they do want to be part of that year around, you know, they want to have access to it every day, 24 seven, how do they get access to it? You just hit up uh, modernmortgagesummit.com and you know, it's, it's cheap, right, Dave? I mean, I think it's for what, for what you get, you know, it's, we, we probably underpriced it. <laughs> yeah, it's a hundred dollars guys. So go to, go to modernmortgagesummit.com. If you paid for the live event, you, you got it live and you had it for 30 days and then we, Todd, well, I shouldn't say we, Todd, win by noon, uh, 
had it edited, his team edited it so that not only do you have the core content, but you have how it was introduced and a debrief on the takeaways. You have that all in there and, and it's just a training resource. So I, I want to make sure, Todd, anything else you want to say on that before we move on to the next topic? No, I'll throw the links. I'll throw the links in there on that. And I do think, you know, having Renee Rodriguez as our MC was really a brilliant uh, choice. I mean, we're super glad that we could get uh, Renee to fly out there and uh, be with Dave and I in the virtual studio, because I think that he did such a great job of helping you and I break down uh, the videos and let people know what to watch for, and then let people know kind of where the genius was in each of those videos. Totally, totally agree. So I just want to make sure everybody knows how to do what Todd did. Uh, everybody knows how to use Zoom, you know, share my desktop. Well, most people just default sharing the desktop and they pick the desktop and then whatever's on your desktop plays. If you want to have play a video during a Zoom session and have it use the microphone and optimize video for the viewer, you, you notice, number one, you need to pick either the web browser that you're in so Todd had a website, Modern Mortgage Summit, and then you got to pick share computer sound. You got to click that at the bottom and you got to click optimize screen share for video clips. And, and every time you share, you have to re-click those. So it takes a while to get used to doing it. But then when you share a video, you know, it, it sounds like the person who you shared it with, it's on their desktop. So I, I want to give you guys another idea. This can is I, what- Can I throw one quick thing in on that, Dave? Um, that was the first time I did it. I've heard Dave now talk about it two or three times, but do it in practice first because Zoom had me download an audio driver. And so if I would have done that live, I've been like, oh shoot, I got to click out of here and re reload that. So make sure you try it first before you actually go to do it live your first time. And then the other thing that I did was once I selected the video, I hit it full screen. So it took up my whole screen. So that'd be the two things I'd throw in there. So I want to give you another move. I, I don't know any loan officers doing this. So get, by the way, if you are on this call and you're doing this, where you're already using video within a Zoom experience with a borrower, let me know. I think this is going to be a new move for you guys. But we've been doing it at Mortgage Coach all of 2020, where every time we launch Mortgage Coach to a big company or when we're in our demo and we're selling Mortgage Coach, not only do we you know, show our desktop and sell, a demo, which you guys who are using Mortgage Coach, when you're on Zoom with a family, you're pulling up the TCA and you're sharing it. But guys, we integrate video. And I'm going to play a testimonial video that we use in the sales process just to show off what we do. But I, I think loan officers might want to steal a page from this. And at some point, you, you may not want to do this with every single borrower and you don't need to do this. But like if you're speaking to a big group or you're doing a realtor lunch and learn, you might want to integrate a video into your training. So what you're going to watch now is, is a, about four or five. They're not just testimonials. They're also like what top, why top producers use Mortgage Coach. So I'm going to play it for two minutes just to, to show it off, but also show off another way on how this feature in Zoom can be used. So check it out. This is what top producers, this is what they like most about Mortgage Coach. And this is how they use both our technology and our platform. Mortgage Coach for me is the most important piece of software that we use. And we've got a pretty good technology stack. But if I had just one piece, it would have to be Mortgage Coach. It is without doubt a piece of technology that you want to invest in. And the reason is it gives not only your loan officers the platform to differentiate themselves from all of the other fee worksheet loan officers in the country, but it also allows for engagement. And when real estate professionals got to see how professional and transparent and how educational my loan worksheets, my loan presentations were, uh, it completely escalated that learning curve and how I moved up in the mortgage industry. I never would be where I am today without access to the Facebook page and the YouTube channel. It just gave me access to loan officers nationwide, not in my own little bubble of where I live in, to be able to adopt the same strategies that they're using. It's invaluable. The fact that all of Mortgage Coach's content is in YouTube, I can go really deep. And that allows me to have my loan officers go there and it's easy for them to find without having to search all over some of the other mediums. The TCA, the Total Cost Analysis, allows you to create an experience for a client that puts you on par with the Ubers and the Delta apps and the rest of the way that people want to actually digest content. 
I can directly track that the rate of return on my investment using Mortgage Coach is I close 33% more. If you were a company, if you were an owner, and you could increase your conversion by 30% more than you are right now, what's that worth? So guys, video integrated to Zoom, integrated to a sales conversation. Could have been, you know, a one minute video. I, I actually have that video spliced into, you know, 15 second, 30 second sessions. So if I'm selling mortgage coach or I'm on a virtual stage and I want to just have Jeremy come up and say that, I could just play that. I got Jeremy helping me sell mortgage coach. Guys, you're mortgage professionals. We live in this virtual world. You, you need to know how to show up on video. You need to know how to give valuable services to clients. And then you need to learn how to have other people tell your story. I, I see a lot of loan officers creating what I call a value prop video that they're putting on their websites. And guys, you could play that value prop video at some point in your Zoom meetings with clients. Todd, anything you want to add to that or anything you want to call out? Well, I mean, you know my story, right? I mean, I, I think I think a lot of people have heard it, but I, my first day in the mortgage business in 2001, I went to a mortgage originator magazine uh, web seminar with with the company that had hired me, and I saw Mark Klein talk about Mortgage Coach. I had never done a loan. I had not made a penny in the business. I was getting my MBA at night, and I was a stay at home dad. And I bought Mortgage Coach, and everyone made fun of me at my company for for spending the money on it. But you know, I've just been such a fan, you know, so long. But I knew as a brand new loan officer, how was I going to look, experience, and look better than everyone else? And I used, you know, that old archaic version of Mortgage Coach back then. Uh, still made me look way better. And what you guys have now is, you know, hands down, uh, you know, the best. And I think it's, you know it's so critical for you to think about how do you look compared to everyone else. And when Jeremy talks about his conversion rates, that's no different than anyone else who's using it. Love it. Well, I've got one more, call it lesson I want to cover. Um, Todd, have we got any questions that have come in that we haven't answered or is anybody, I, I have not you got share, your your, share that video screen thing that you did, your little screenshot you did of how to use the Zoom. Someone asked if you would share that again. So maybe throw that up there and then um, just making sure that our modern mortgage summit link is working in Facebook. Cause the one that, uh, originally got thrown up, isn't working, Robert, your link's not working. If you want to pop that one out of there. So, uh, so guys take a picture of this and, and just practice it, you know, practice it with, a you know, a friend in your office, practice it with a family member. It is one of those things where once you do it once, you know how to do it, but until you've done it 10 to 20 times, uh, you're not comfortable doing it in a live, a live setting. So remember guys, training, you know, we're today, we're giving, we're, we're, we're sharing ideas. We're giving stuff. We, you know, we're gonna revisit some of these ideas in the following weeks. And we, we need you guys to do the, do the training. So if, if you want to play the game and add a point of sale video, do it. If you want to help us teach and train the mortgage coach community, uh, share it with me with the phone numbers that I gave you. Also, that mobile club is a place where I, I give updates. I share quotes. Um, I'm trying to make it a valuable place. I'm not doing it daily or even weekly. I'm trying to make it so that if you want to be in that mortgage coach, Dave Savage, inner circle, uh, be part of that club, you can just text that number 949-799-0837 and be in the Savage Insights slash mortgage coach mobile club. Uh, so I got one more lesson, Todd, keep an eye out for questions. Yeah. You know what? Uh, Deborah Bird had an amazing suggestion on testimonials, which is super killer. She said that it's a great time to ask your past clients for testimonials because they're sitting at home on zoom anyway. So they already have the equipment and it's already set up. I mean, that's like blinding flash, the obvious, but super uh, smart suggestion. Thanks, Deborah. Yeah. And, and someone asked me to share that uh, Josh middle video. I, I will put it, it, after I'm done talking here, I'm going to put it in chat, or not chat, but comments of our Facebook group. So where this call is, I'll put it there. And I'm also going to text it so you can have a copy of it uh, to the mobile club. So if you're in my mobile club, I will text you the raw video and you'll have a sample of it yourself. So so one more little lesson, you know, because we're, we're opening this new chapter where Todd and I are just going to be doing, um, not just, but we're going to be doing more training. I want to share a post 
I, I put this in LinkedIn a couple months ago, but I want to just put a little color around this. Uh, so, so I, I get, you know, my son's playing lacrosse for, for Syracuse and I get parents all the time. Like, how do you do it? How did you do it? You know, cause that's a, it's a big accomplishment. I'm super proud of Jack, but I, I think there's three things that are super important and they're good reminders when we're doing training. And, and I'm going to use this term. I, 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 well, let me go through it real quick. So if you didn't read the post, it's in our Facebook group. Uh, but, but the, there's three things like, Jack, first of all, I don't think I get a lot of credit. The only credit I really give is that I was not one of those parents that put so much pressure on my kid that he wasn't doing his best. And I paid for some really good coaches. So, so, you know, kind of the, my playbook as a parent, I don't know how much I helped and how much it's just pure him and who he is in his natural sport or his natural athletic ability, but lead by example with work ethic. And I put that out there for all of you that are team leaders. Are you leading by example? Also, we're in a super high volume market right now where everybody is just stretched thin, you know, and I'm hearing a lot of loan officers that aren't being super cool and loving to their ops teams. I would just say all you managers out there, are you being super cool and loving to your ops teams? Lead by example and work work hard. Uh, this one right here, I really want the, these, these, these next two I wanted to cover in today's training because I do think like my goal, that's why I always put be the best mortgage coach, be the best. It's I want loan officers in our community to just be the best. I don't want them to be great. I don't want them to be good. I want them to be the best modern mortgage professionals in America. And, and that's what I coach and I train for. That's what Todd and I coach and I train, we train for. Uh, so I want to just push everybody. Do you have the coach and the mentors you need in 2021 to achieve your goals? So that's the thought. And then this last one, and it's going to really be my last words. Like if you train and you learn new skills and you learn new habits, now you just got to have fun and play loose. And, and while this is advice that I'd give Jack before every single game he ever had, that's, that's all I would ever say. I would never kind of give him tactical advice, even though I knew things that he should remember to do. In my mind, I just figured that's, that's his job and that's his coach's job. That's not my job as a parent. My job as a parent is just, like, dude, have fun, play loose. Uh, which by the way, I give myself that advice all the time. And so I, I kind of close out this training. We got about 10 more minutes to do Q and A. It's like, we've shown you how to create these videos, but you do the training and then you just have fun playlists. Now, if, if you haven't created a lot of videos and you don't have the skill on how to do that, you can't have fun in playlists because you're, you're like, you're uncomfortable doing it. If you haven't played a lot of videos in Zoom and you haven't practiced what Todd and I just did, you can't have fun in playlists because you haven't done the work. You haven't done the training. You haven't built the skills. So, so we're just kind of, this is our first, what I'd call formal, modern, mortgage advisor training on a Friday. We're kicking it off. We're going to do more of these. Some weeks we will just bring in guests and we'll interview them. But even when we bring in a guest like we've done over the past, Todd, is it two years or three years we've been doing this? I think we're all getting closer to three and a half at least. It's kind of oh crazy. God. So it's over three years that we've been doing this? Yeah, it's, I mean. Oh my God. All right. Well, I guess we've been doing this over three years. This is the first time where we're, we're not just doing masterminds, you know, like that's what we've always done before. Like, Hey, let's bring in a bunch of people. Let's all share and mastermind. No, we're doing masterminds with a training component where we're training you to be a modern mortgage pro. So have fun, play loose, practice hard, train daily. Todd, any thoughts on that? Well, I love it. I just wrote it down. So it's, it's at the top of my planner for the day. And, and I think it's just a great reminder. I think what you, the, the part I loved is when you said, it's what I remind that you remind it to yourself. And I think that that's, you know, really the key. I, I do think we all take ourselves uh, way, you know, way too seriously um, because, you know, we're, we're, you need to be serious about your job, right? You're giving really serious financial advice, but you overthink it oftentimes before you act. And I really do like the, the intentionality around the idea of training, right? When Dave said, we've been doing this three and a half years and we started it around a mastermind with a small group of people before we made it public to everybody. And that was what we did then. We were training on content that was in uh, Darren Hardy's Insane Productivity with Mortgage Coach 
that David put out. And it's really critical. Again, Dave said the best originators train every day. You know, Jack trained every day for lacrosse, right? And that's really what you need to do. And oftentimes, you know, we have lots of threads inside the group on who's the best coach. So if you ever want to know, just type in the word coach up in the top right where you can search our Facebook group and you'll see everyone's recommendations on it. This is free coaching, right? This is the free opportunity, all the content that's in here. And I really do think that the roadmap that we've got laid out for 2021 is going to be fun, first and foremost, right? Dave and I are going to show up, we're going to have fun and play loose. And I think it's going to be rewarding for those of you who plug in and choose to execute on it. And I love when I saw that post again, Dave, because I do think it's it's critical, right? I mean, as you know, for me all the time when I was uh, had younger kids, right now my kids, my youngest is 18, my oldest is 25, but I raised three daughters. I was a stay-at-home dad for two years when I started in, in the mortgage business. And that was my original story. And so I always had a lot of people ask me about being a parent. So I love that you took the parent piece and you tied it into what we're doing here. That's huge. Yeah, I love it. Uh, by the way, Paul said, was Jack an LO boy or Lake Ridge? We, we, we're, we're Lake Ridge. Although my daughter went to LO, Jack was a Lake Ridge boy. Uh, you know, this little kid on the side was an eighth grader dreaming about playing for Syracuse. And this was a, a junior in high school committing to play. And thank you, Lake Ridge. Go, go blue. <laughs> so, all right, guys. So let's summarize a few things here. So one, if you're going to train in mortgage coach land, you've got to be in the mortgage coach Facebook group. We will keep you updated on trainings. I want you to think of this platform as a community, as a, as a community where you get homework assignments, you share, you participate. So someone has to give us a mobile video, whether you do it through, you know, the text channel. Todd also has a text number. Uh, Todd, have you been have you been using your um, your community mobile number at all? No, I, I'm just getting it, so I don't. I, I'll have it. I think this afternoon or something like that with them. So the guy just texted me this morning and said, "Hey, let's get it set up." So um, I'm going to be cool like you and have one of those numbers, and I'll start giving it out starting next week. Right on. Uh, we're going to be using some of the features in this group more often, more strategically. Uh, the file section is just is just a goldmine. I mean, I. I always get amazed at just how much gold is in this file section. Make sure you know how to use it. Uh, we'll, we'll call out other features of the product of, of, excuse me, not the product, but the modern, um, the mortgage coach productivity mastermind. Uh, we, you know, we want to remind you, we think this is an important, valuable and resource to go to modernmortgagesummit.com, have the 365 pass. And then of course, you know, mortgage coach YouTube channel. Uh, and, and then guys, Win by noon, you know, Todd, why don't you just remind everybody about all the resources you have in win by noon. And I want you to think of win by noon is, okay, there's a modern mortgage wheel and there's all these things that we need to do to kill it. When it comes to advice and that point of sale experience, that's mortgage coach. When you think of part of being a modern mortgage professional, it's planning your day. It's tracking what you do. That's win by noon. And so Todd, just remind everybody what kind of resources you have for everybody over there. Well, you know, we do a ton of free training and even if you don't subscribe and get the planner, right? So for those of you who don't know what Win by Noon is, it's literally a day planner that um, you basically use to, to record your activities and track your day, right? So it's, you know, a little fancy thing. Mine's got stickers on it. Of course, now you can't see it because of the, the fact I got my fake virtual background up, but you don't have to have the physical product to be part of our community. Uh, just look up Win by Noon uh, mastermind, user mastermind. And uh, but all the trainings that I do, for the most part, are free. I do some some private stuff for for others. But it's uh, you know doing a lot of business planning now. I met, as I mentioned, uh, those of you who are late to join, I'm doing a Homebot one with Grant Horvath from Homebot Homebot next week, and do lots of kickoffs. Does lots of business planning with realtors. You'll see those start popping up in January. And so anyone who is looking to elevate their game to do business planning with partners, that'll be really where I'm going to focus the rest of this year and the first month of next year, really helping you build those relationships. Um, what I'm doing with Grant, you don't have to be a HomeBot user to do that. Um, I'm doing that for people to look for ways to create engagement scripts with clients and real estate agents. And so that's really my continued passion. Um, the reason Dave and I started to do this, and I actually think Dave, it's been four years because my math is not that good, but if you take, we're at 214, you divide that by 52 weeks in a year, that, that looks like four years maybe. So we've been, wow. uh, we've been flying at this for a, uh, a long time. And, um, you know, we do have a mortgage edition, mortgage coach edition. Thanks for um, asking, uh, Admiral's asking what the difference is between the two. You know what? I am such a fan of 
mortgage coach that 100% of the issues for loan officers, uh, of the additions for loan officers of uh, Win by Noon have uh, track TCAs, right? Total cost analysis in there. However, the mortgage coach edition is uh, our number one seller, no surprise. And it's got the mortgage coach branding on the front. And I like that because if you put your planner down with you when you're meeting with a real estate agent or you put your planner down when you're meeting with a client, they're going to see that. And it's just a great point. You're going to find that they're going to say, well, what's mortgage coach? And it gives you one more opportunity to explain yourself and differentiate yourself uh, to clients. Um, so yeah, love you to be part of our community. Just know that uh, my goal is to help you be more productive. And it really hit me when Dave mentioned the work he was doing that or the, the stuff at Quicken Loans earlier where um, they track and record at such a, a, a crazy level. If you read Dave's article about Quicken when they did their IPO, that's really one of the differences between them and you or most of you is that they actually follow those conversion rates. And that's just one of the pieces that I think is a critical part of Win by Noon for those who uh, take the effort each week and each month to uh, total up their numbers, total up those activities and figure out how they got to those results. So uh, jump in. Uh, I'd love to have you be part of us as well. So, so guys, also, I haven't scheduled and confirmed Sean yet, but America's number one loan officer who's closed, whose team has closed over 3,000 loans. He's also guaranteed rates. Number one loan officer will be, I'll be interviewing him in January. And they, they're currently adopting mortgage coach uh, team white. So we're, we're training him and his team. And I remember when we were kind of having the prep call to, to train the team and I'm like, well, how hard is it going to be to, you know, schedule all these trainings? And he's like, oh, that's no problem. We train every day. So guys, America's number one loan officer trains every single day of the week. His team trains every single day of the week. Quicken, biggest lender in America, is the top training company. Uh, Keller Williams, the biggest real estate company in the country, top training company. You know, when I look at our customers that have grown the most, I'm not going to start mentioning all the names of all of our different lenders because I need to be Switzerland and, and I represent the mortgage industry. Guys, the best mortgage companies are the best training companies. The best loan officers have trained the most. Uh, so, so guys, we're super pumped. Uh, let's see here. We did have a question. Someone said, oh, stickers. So, so Paul, I think you're local. So I'll meet with some local folks and pass out some mortgage stickers. So if you're in Portland area and you want to meet up for coffee, I'll get some stickers and hopefully we can get on the other side of this COVID times and um, we can get some stickers out there. So whenever we're, we're at events, we've got black belt stickers, we've got red belt stickers. Uh, if you notice my computer guys, you know, we got a mortgage coach sticker, but we don't currently have a process for mailing those out. Um, there's something we did for events. Someone, um, Admiral, had asked, what's the difference between the standard edition and mortgage coach edition? I'm subscribing now. Super smart for you to be subscribing. Uh, the mortgage coach edition has mortgage coach on the front of it. So it's cooler, in my opinion. They both, if you are in win by noon, it's got a place for you to track your, your TCAs. And guys, that's another thing. The best loan officers track every lead, track every conversion. Um, Joe... Jardini, I think I saw you comment or like that you're in here. If you're listening to this, dude, I haven't interviewed you um, for a long time. Uh, I would love to interview you. Um, he is a uh, he's a mind coach. Coaches a lot of professional athletes, professional teams, Dallas Cowboys, UCLA, the 49ers. Although I don't know if it's the Dallas Cowboys aren't having too good a year. So um, are you are you are you training the Pittsburgh Steelers this year? Uh, just, just having fun with you, Joe, but, uh, Joe, um, let's get, reach out to me afterwards. Let's get you on the calendar. If you want to do a mortgage coach interview or join one of these Friday masterminds. Uh, all right, guys, we're, we're going to wrap this up unless someone else has a question. Todd, any last questions before we wrap it up? Um, no, I'm just responding to some, some, uh, messages here and I'm digging back through this, the thing to try to figure out when we started this stinking mastermind together, Dave. So I'm going to have a date for us next week. I'm going to, so we can brag about how long we've been, uh, doing this together. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we've been doing it for a long time. We love doing this. Both of us have a passion for mortgage professionals, helping you guys be the best. And we have a passion for training, teaching, and leading. So let's keep it going. Everybody have an awesome weekend. Thank you for your time and attention. If you got value from this, give us a like. 
And if you have something you want us to do a training on, put it in comments and we'll add it to the training agenda for the next couple of weeks. Take care, y'all. Good seeing you, Dave. Later, brother.